one other important tumor marker is the alpha fetoprotein also called the AFP. Alpha fetoprotein as we know is an oncofetal protein, oncofetal and oncofetal antigen. Alpha fetoprotein is a serum fetal protein synthesized by the liver, the yolk sac and the GI tract in the fetal stage and it is a glycoprotein. It is absent after birth. In hepatocellular cancer, it is diagnostic more than 500 uh, level of AFP is diagnostic of hepatocellular cancer and also useful for screening high risk populations who can develop hepatocellular cancer like the HBV active patients and the HCV patients. These can develop hepatic cancer and for them periodic, periodic follow up with AFP will be useful to diagnose hepatocellular cancer early. As I have already told you, one of my patients who was a chronic HBV active patient, he started deteriorating uh, over a period of few days and when we looked at the alpha fetoproteins, the levels were very high and immediately we could make a diagnosis of hepatocellular cancer by further imaging studies. Of course, the drawback with AFP is in benign conditions like hepatic parenchymal inflammation, hepatic necrosis. Uh, and in pregnancy, primary biliary cirrhosis, extrahepatic biliary obstruction, in all these conditions also, AFP may be false positive. One needs to be careful uh, before we interpret high levels of AFP as correlating with uh, hepatocellular cancer. Uh, then, the testicular germ cell tumor, uh, particularly the embryonal and the endodermal tumors of the testis, they also throw a positive AFP test. It is useful in the diagnosis, the prognosis and in the monitoring of recurrence and the response of hepatocellular cancer and testicular germ cell cancers. Absolute AFP level correlates with the tumor bulk. The bigger the tumor, the larger the bulk, the more is the AFP level. Cancers of pancreas, colonic colon and then stomach and bronchogenic cancers also might sometimes give a positive AFP result.